The Tesla Cybertruck will be the first Tesla that has Neuralink controls. I can invite you to notice that the Cybertruck has no real steering wheel. The steering wheel is a wheel shape that you can grab onto as you steer a car. However, the fake steering wheel on the Cybertruck is missing the top and bottom of the wheel. This makes it dangerous to steer because you turn the truck, your hands will instinctively try to grab onto the bottom of the wheel. However, the bottom of a wheel is missing. This would make you lose control of the Cybertruck in a turn. Why did Elon do this? He is a very intelligent man, so this must not be a mistake. This must be intentional engineering. If a vehicle is self-driving, you don't need a steering wheel. The steering wheel is only there for backup use. Therefore, cutting off the bottom of a steering wheel will generate more seating space on top of your lap. You may enjoy using a laptop computer or read a book using that space instead of having a steering wheel there. Elon talked about the rare instance, or that 0.001% of the time, when a robo taxi needs human intervention at the controls. When he said this, he did not mean the passenger. Remember, the Cybertruck doesn't have a real steering wheel. I invite you to remember that all Tesla vehicles have Bluetooth built in. Neuralink uses Bluetooth. Why? Because Elon plans to make your Cybertruck drivable with a Bluetooth connection. I invite you to notice that there are systems similar to Neuralink that are competing with it. For example, there's a system called Brain Fingers, using a headband that is an antenna able to pick up brainwave emissions. You control a computer using only your thoughts. This system can control a Tesla, theoretically, but it cannot control a Robotax remotely because it cannot input data into the human brain. Brain Fingers is just one-way communication from human to computer, while the Neuralink system is two-way communication. There's another computing system that will that's still in that's still in the research stage in Silicon Valley. I cannot go into more detail than what I am about to tell you, as I am bound legally not to disclose. When you say the word "cool," an electrochemical impulse that says "cool" travels from your brain to your lips. When you think of this word, but don't say it, a weaker identical impulse that says "cool" travels to your lips. This impulse is not strong enough to make you actually say the word "cool." The, this computing system has a special sticker placed next to your lips that will read your thoughts and relay them to a computer. The computer will give you input with an earpiece. This system can take input from the human brain and give audio output. With these other non-surgical solutions, why did Neuralink require invasive surgical implantation? First of all, the rate of data transmission is much faster with a direct surgical link instead of audio and visual data. Also, the reaction time is much faster, which is crucial to a system meant to drive vehicles remotely. Finally, Neuralink will be able to burn data directly into a human brain as a permanent memory. In other words, if you were to drive a Cybertruck with Neuralink, you would feel like the truck is a part of your body. You would be able to simultaneously see from every Cybertruck video camera and radar. You would also be able to control the truck and remember everything that you did, as if the truck is a part of your body. In other words, Neuralink and Tesla Cybertruck will turn you into a cyborg. You might be surprised to find yourself suddenly realizing that the CYB in Cybertruck stands for cyborg.